Oh, wait, you caught me monologuing. Sorry, I did your thing there. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, well, he's not going to be in this, unfortunately, because he's such a great. he was such a great wait, villain. me? Yeah, you. Oh. Syndrome. Oh, okay, not not real me. I was like, wait, do I have to leave? I mean, I'll no, go get a Dr. Pepper. No, no, but... no, no, no. Syndrome. Uh, he was. He's not going to be in this one, unfortunately. No. Uh, I know. I know. It's a. It's a travesty. But hey, we still got. Uh, we still got the Incredibles. Uh, the Incredibles two, ladies and gentlemen. It's. It's happening. It. I mean, we've known that it's happening for a while, <clears> but <throat> now there's a now there's a teaser trailer. And, oh yes. Oh boy. I am very excited. I cannot wait to see this movie. I w- I think it's going to be out next year too. Ooh. So that's oh that's. Pretty close. That's closer than expected. I know. I, I remember, okay, I remember going to a movie in 2009 and seeing, and having this little preview pop up, and all of a sudden, Woody, uh, Woody the Cowboy walks across the screen. He's like, all right, guys, all right, we gotta get this, we gotta get this set up. And it was the entire Toy Story crew. And the, it's just like Toy Story 3, it was a Toy Story 3 announcement trailer. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, what? And then, uh, at the end of it, it's like it, it's they didn't give a date and and the screen went black. I was like, oh no! And then Woody comes back out and he's like, all right, all right. And he puts up the the release date and it mm. was exactly a year from that day. Nice. And I was just like, oh, nice. Yes. And uh, I I was hyped, hyped as hell. And I uh, same thing with the Kingdom Hearts three when they finally announced it was going to be in twenty eighteen. Oh good god! I was just like, yes. Yep. Uh, me and Carly are probably gonna have to play that game together. I, yeah, I like to go through it together with you know that uh, th- that way we can both like experience but, it and everything. But let's get one thing <clears throat> absolutely straight. What's that? I build the ships. Of course, dude. No doubt. Okay. Th- there was never any doubt about that. Okay. Like that's the, your mo. Uh, that's that's your bread and butter. Yeah. Like the relationships. No, like <laughs> the little the little ships that you use oh. to travel. This ain't Tumblr, worlds. Micah. <laughs> They're, we they're sh- like little Minecraft ships, yeah, and they're so like much fun. Yeah, they're awesome. Things. I love them. The gummies. Yep. Gummy ships. They're are they're boss. really fun. Yeah, except you never use yours. I okay. You know what? I will. Yeah, you better. I will. I put a lot of work into that ship. Yeah. Whenever I need to use, whenever I, when, whenever it gives me the option for it, for either the regular drive or the warp drive, I'll use choose the, regular. Please. Okay. Please. That's I'll all do I'm that. asking. I'll do that for you. Okay. All right. But anyway, that's Kingdom Hearts, which there's talk that the Incredibles will actually be in Kingdom Hearts. Yes, three. please. A lo- a, a lo- actually, there is another rumor as well, and I know a certain member, I might very well hear her screaming on the horizon. Oh. There's been talk of Treasure Planet being put into it, and that someone working at Square Enix saw... Uh, saw a treasure planet world. Yep, I can hear. Her. Yep, she's screaming. Oh yeah, I hear her too. Yep. Real Sorry loud. about that, Carly. All right, so yeah, yeah Carly. Yeah, Carly's a massive. Her. I don't think she can hear us. Oh god. Yep. <clears throat> okay. So anyway, the Incredibles two uh, teaser trailer dropped a little while back. Let's get it on screen and let's uh, let's give it a watch. Let's see. There we go. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, hey, Jack Jack. Uh, <coughs> wait. Uh oh. Uh, no. Wow. Laser vision. No. Uh, Jack Jack. Now that's cool. Okay, that's cool. Yeah! You yes! Have power! <laughs> yeah, baby! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good. That is exactly the right look. Just okay, the... summer 2018. Yes! All next right. year. Ne- less than a year away. Yep. Yes! Oh, God. Just, okay, just just right up the middle, just like the perfect. perma part, right up the middle. I like cry. Oh, perfect. if that happened to you? Oh yeah. Oh lord. Cut Actually, it all you off. know what? You know what could work for you, Micah? A knot top. You can do the. You can you can pull off the knot top. You ever seen the knot? Uh, the knot top. You cut your you cut your hair bald here in the middle, and then you curl up the curl up a knot top in the middle. 
Like a like a samurai haircut? Yeah. yeah, I'm not doing that. Come on. Yeah, but it was like all the way down the middle. It's like a that'd be like a reverse mohawk for me or a mullet because it'd be fine in the back, but the top would just <laughs> children would cry. Messed up in the front, party in the back. <clears throat> <laughs> or like parted a... in the front <coughs> party in the back. There we go. There I did go. it. That's more like I it. I did it. Yeah, so yeah, I've horrible. so yeah, I'm I've been very excited for this film cuz it's been on the horizon for a long time. I mean, yeah, and we've basically been sitting here going when are they going to make another Incredibles? When Incredibles 2. Like, come on guys, this is this is a really good movie. When are you going to do it? And it's been 14 years. Wow. That yeah. long. 2004. I remember when this I remember when the first one got released. It was it was so hype, dude. It, it was up there as definitely one of my top three, uh, top three Pixar films, uh, and the fact that they got pretty much everybody coming back except for Dash because the actor who played Dash has grown up and doesn't yeah. have the same voice. Uh, but you know they've got Holly Hunter, Craig T. Nelson, Sarah Vowell. Uh, they've got everybody coming back. No, no, no. You, you haven't mentioned the most important one, Samuel Jackson. Samuel Jackson. Oh, Sam Jackson is frozen. Where is my super suit, woman? <laughs> you better tell me what my super set is, woman. This is for the greater good. I am the greatest good you are ever going to get. <laughs> Best part of the whole movie. Yeah. Seriously, it's that, so good. And yeah. I am hoping that we actually see her show up. And she's another super. And you're just like. Yeah, super light, the super lightning babe, like like he was talking about in his original interview yep, in the first film. Yep, yep. If you're a super lightning babe, that's all right by me. I'm good. I'm good. And then he had that light, slight look of disappointment, like like she didn't tell him at first, and then he found he had to find out later on that she was a super. Yep. And she was a super lightning babe. And you're and just like, man, I just that that would be the ultimate. Like we've we've written that scene. Yes, we have. And it's I I love it, and I'm afraid that we have we have sort of ruined ourselves for it because. You know they're gonna if they do something different and they're not us so I mean they yeah. probably are well it's Brad Bird well Brad Bird's a great writer that's he's, true and he he's a great writer and he writes great characters Golden Age of the Simpsons oh oh big time first the first ten se- I'd say a lot of people say seasons two through six were the best I I'd, I'd make the argument that seasons two through ten were the best I mean because up to the tenth season uh, after the tenth season Brad Bird quit yeah because he he got tired of Fox pretty much saying. Say, oh, you have to do things this way now, and he's like, "Nope, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go make the Iron Giant." And thus, oh. he made the Iron Giant. And then Pixar called and said, "Hey, Brad, uh, we'll give you, uh, we'll give you a hundred some odd million dollars for a budget. Uh, can you make a can you make an animated film for us?" And he's just like, "I think I can yeah. come up with one." And uh, well, it's because Brad Bird and John Lasseter actually knew each other from college they were actually uh, they're uh-huh. actually old okay. buddies in college right. so yeah it's uh it's a whole it's I, I love that these these guys are like really connected and they know each other and they know that they're that they'll do good work the the only one that i'm i'm sad didn't get a chance to direct a uh, pixar film is joe ramft because unfortunately he passed away yeah. in a car accident in 2006 yeah. and uh <clears throat> there was actually talk of him like directing a film after they did the Cars movie because he they talked to him about potentially directing but anyway it it, it the Incredibles 2 you know Brad Bird's films for Pixar have been probably the best some of the best I mean you know he did the Incredibles mm-hmm. he did Ratatouille and now he's doing Incredibles he's doing uh, the next Incredibles yeah and uh, and I, I feel like Ratatouille doesn't get enough love because that movie was oh yes really <clears throat> great yeah it was and it had a lot to it. I mean, there was... I killed a man with this thumb. Yeah. So, it, like, that guy is Micah as a French chef. Pretty much. You can tell me I'm wrong. Have you seen Ratatouille? Nope. Sure haven't. Okay. It's real good. Uh, Thumbs are dangerous, though. Oh, yeah. I think yes. you'd enjoy it. The, oh, yeah. Nate! We, I mean, we won't react to it, but can we can we show him that scene after this? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because... Bo- bonus uh, round. <clears throat> well, I mean, you know... For, for me... Probably the one part of that film that really sealed the deal for me, and it uh, it was already a great film in my mind, but what really drove it drove it over the over the hill or like to the moon for me was uh, Anton Ego, uh, the Anton Ego, the character, and his speech about criticism. Yes, that was just gorgeous. Quite, and good. plus it was it was probably it was Peter O'Toole, the the late great Peter O'Toole, mm-hmm. uh, giving that you know giving that speech, and it speaks so true to the 
respect who what critics, well, you know, critics, you know, how critics can be, and how people perceive critics, and it's it even critics have to sometimes admit that they were wrong, and that's what he, and he had to confront that about himself. It's just like, yes, I must admit sometimes I'm wrong, and even though he was like the world renowned chef, like or the world renowned chef critic, and he was never wrong. Mm-hmm. But he at one point is just like wow, and uh, it it's got such a great resolution, such uh, such great music too. You know, Brad Bird, whenever he has music for his films, I think it's Michael Giacchino who always does the music for him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, like he had The Incredibles. It was like you know that classic nineteen fifties hero. Hero oh soundtrack. yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah the 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 horns. Yes. Yeah. And. That- that yeah, that, style j- that jazz, that jazz band, perfect. backing it, like a, like a very golden age kind of feel to it. Yes, and then you have Ratatouille. You know the playful. You know you had the playful French. You know the French backing because it's mostly set in Paris, mm-hmm. in France. And then you have the scenes that are between just the rats, where it's just them, where it's just them talking, and the music changes because it shows the different worlds. Yep. Because it's the world of the rats and the world of the humans, and it's it it just shows great dynamics, and I love that. And you see, I I can't express enough how excited like we, I am we for this We could film. keep going on about yeah, this. Yeah, we could. But, but we have to record other videos. Yes. So we're going to call it now. Yes, we are. And yep. uh, thank you all so much for tuning in. Link to the original in the description down below. Let us know what you think. If you're excited for The Incredibles 2. Also, uh, don't forget to hit the little bell next to the subscribe button if you want to know when our uh, newest videos are out. And uh, until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Ben. Micah. And this is Chico. <laughs> And we'll see you later, everyone. Peace out.